Hello everyone, we will continue the topic message class as a part of a BAP programming. And in this video, I will cover two important points related to the message class. And what are those two points? How to pass a message class at the program level itself. And the second point is how we can display one type of message as another type of message. So firstly, we will start with first point. How to pass a message class at the program level itself. Suppose I will go for our program. I will go for our code. How we provided the message. Message is the keyword. Message type. Message number. In the bracket, we passed the message class. If we want to pass the parameters, we used or we passed using with keyword. Now, so many people told this, yes, in their working in a project, they are able to see message type, they are able to see message number, but they are not able to see the message class, then how that particular message is coming. See, message class is there itself. The only, only thing is rather than passing the message class into this particular statement, they passed at the program level itself. Whenever you will pass at the program level, it means that message class we can use throughout that particular program. Suppose I will comment this particular statement. Suppose I will copy and I will comment this particular statement. Now I will simply, simply write this. Now I will not pass the message class here. Now I am not passing the message class here. Now I will pass the message class at the program level itself. So how we will pass? This is our statement. So here I will pass the message class name. So how we will pass? We have a keyword message ID. And what is the name of the message class? Z message. I will simply check the syntax and I will activate. So this is what is in your project. Yes, the name of the message class is there itself. You just need to go for the program and the message class is provided using the message ID keyword. Generally, in any interview, as we ask the question, yes, how you can provide or what is the keyword to pass the message class at the program level? So the answer is message ID. With the help of message ID, you can pass the name of the message class. Now, this message class is accessible throughout this particular program. Whenever you want to use the messages of this message class, there is no need to pass the name of the message class. You can simply, simply use. Now we will come on to next important point. Now what is next important point? How we can display one type of message as another type of message. So we'll go for simple understanding. Suppose we have a error message and what customer is saying, I want to display this error message as information message so that it will appear in the form of pop-up. See, message behavior is not changing. This is the extremely important point. Message behavior is not changing. We are just displaying one type of message as another type of message. Suppose I will go for, we'll go for practical part to understand this. Suppose I will copy this code. I will comment. This is important point. I will paste. I'm just removing this. Suppose I'm not going for any flag. I'm not going for any flag. Okay. Now, rather than information message, I'm suppose going for error message. Message class is at the program level. So no problem. That is perfectly fine. Now I'm going for error message. I'm putting a breakpoint. And most common requirement from the customer, I'm running. I'll put a breakpoint here also. 
so that we can understand fully. I will run this program. Suppose I am giving order number one and payment mode B. Wrong combination. I am executing. I will go for desktop three, most preferable desktop. Yes. Now, now you can see this size of RC is four. It means other than zero. It means the combination of order number and payment mode is incorrect. Yes. So I'm getting size sub RC other than zero. I'm executing. System will raise this error message. We all know in case of error message, system will stop there itself. It will not go to next lines of code. Now you can see if I will execute this, we are getting a error message and system stopped there itself. It is not moving on to next line of code. Now what customer is saying, it is perfectly fine. I'm getting the error message. I want a error message, but I want in the form of pop-up. So I want to just display this message in the as a information. I want error that is correct. Yes. But this message is appearing in the status bar. Yes. I just want this in the form of pop-up. So in this case, what we will do, we will just display this message as a information message. Behavior of the message will never, never change. Suppose we'll go for this. Now, this is an error message. I will just display like information. So what is the keyword display like? This is next question we ask in the interview generally, yes how you can display one type of message as another type of message. The keyword is display like and type of the message. I will activate. Now, now I will go for execution of the program. I will pass the wrong combination of the input. I'm executing. I will go for desktop three, most preferable desktop. Anyways, it is on desktop three. Now you can see size sub RC is other than zero. Perfectly, yes, because this combination does not exist. I'm going for F6. Now it will go for error message, but it will display like information. Now do not go for a perception that if it is displaying like information, so its behavior is also like information. No. System will stop there itself. It will not go on to next line of code, but just it will display like information. I will go for OK. Now you can see we have an error message only, but it is displaying like a information. If I will go for OK, it does not mean that system will go to next lines of code. No. System will not go to next line. So for behavior is same to same. It is just displaying in the form of pop-up. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we covered two important points. And so many people ask about this because they phrase this question during the interview. So these two points are also covered now. Yes, what is first thing? Yes how you can pass a message class at the program level. You can pass a message class at the program level using the message ID keyword. So if you are not able to see the message class while providing the message, it is there, but it is at the program level. So we can declare the message class at the program level using the message ID keyword. Next is how we can display one type of message as another type of message. The simple thing is we need to use a keyword display like and after that, whatever the type of message we want to display. Now, do not go for a perception that if you are displaying error as information message, so the behavior is also information. No, it is just displaying like information, but behavior is accepted. So these are the two important points which we cover related to the message class. So that's it in this video. Thank you.